How's it going? Today I'm here with my WWE Hell in a Cell 2018 pay per predictions course. Hell in a Cell is live on the WWE Network as well as pay per view tomorrow night. And overall, like I say, despite the lackluster shows that we had on Raw and SmackDown Live last Monday, Tuesday, going into Hell in a Cell, I have to say, the card itself is actually pretty good. You know what the best part is about the show? It's an 8 match pay per view card. Despite the 10 to 13 pay per view match cards we've been getting all summer, finally we have a show where it's less than 10 matches, and that is the absolute best part, in my opinion, about Hell in a Cell's the fact that there's only 8 matches on this card. Of course, 7 on the main show, we have one of them being on the kickoff show one hour prior to pay per view, of course. Uh, but yeah, you know, on paper still, I do believe this is a good, solid card. Uh, you know, some good, interesting matches, and you know, I don't think there's honestly going to be matches to be bad. I think all these matches will deliver to be at least good, and I don't think anything will be really that bad in this show. I do think this will be one of the better pay-per-views of 2018 if they don't fuck up everything, if they don't fuck up the booking, if they don't fuck up the matches. You know, just let everything flow, let everything get, you know, the time deserves, let everything go the way it's supposed to go. And I do think we can have a, you know, a pretty dang good pay-per-view with Hell in a Cell, to be perfectly honest. Like I said, my excitement isn't through the roof just because I think the go-home shows were very weak this past Monday and Tuesday. But I do think the card is pretty damn solid, you know, p potentially a great card. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm actually looking forward to Hell in a Cell. I think it'll be a good show, like I said. I'm, I'm looking forward to it in that sense. But, like I said, eight matches on the card. Of course, seven of them being on the main show. One of them being on the one-hour kickoff show, one-hour prior to pay-per-view. Which being the SmackDown Tag Team t uh, Championship match. So, uh, that's the reason to tune in the show. I think that'll be a good match, so... Definitely gives you a reason to tune into the kickoff show to watch that match. But on the main card, like I said, seven matches. Of course, we'll be having one of the Hell in Cell matches between Randy Orton and Jeff Hardy. That's going to be a killer match right there. You know, their matchup backlash they had for the U.S. title wasn't all that good. But hopefully, considering this match is in Hell in a Cell, hopefully they'll take up to that next level. Even though probably had a couple weeks ago and SmackDown Live was great. And hopefully they can utilize that brawl and kind of do it inside the cell. Hopefully there isn't an insane bump by Jeff Hardy. You know, a lot of people just automatically assume he's going to you know, do a swan top to sell. But in the, in the condition he's in, I pray to God that he doesn't kill himself. So I hope that doesn't happen. But Jeff Hardy and Randy Orton inside the cell, I'm all for it. That should be a damn good match. I'm looking forward to that. Dinner Bryan and Brie Bell will be teaming up to take on the Miz and Maurice in a mixed tag team match. That should be hopefully good. You know, after the performance, you know, Bree and Maurice had on SmackDown Live this past Tuesday. Hopefully this match is majority Brian Bryan versus Miz. But like I said, I do think it'll be fun. So... I'm looking forward to the match in that sense that, you know, we're getting Brian versus Miz again, so that should be good. Becky Lynch uh, challenging Charlotte Flair for the SmackDown Women's Championship. Of course, the animosity between these two women boiling over the last few weeks, you know, especially considering after SummerSlam, has just been good. I think, you know, Becky Lynch's promo has been great. You know, her sneak attack on Charlotte's past Tuesday was great. So I've been enjoying the feud, and, you know, I've been enjoying the direction they're going with Becky Lynch. And, you know, hopefully Charlotte Flair and Becky Lynch go out there and have a great match because, you know, with the stories to have and, you know, the way these two are presented as their characters, I believe they can go out there and have an awesome match. So looking forward to Charlotte and uh, Becky Lynch going out there and having a great match for the SmackDown Women's Championship. Of course, on Monday Night Raw, we'll be having Seth Rollins and Dean Ambrose, of course, team up once again to take on Drew McIntyre and Dolph Ziggler for the Raw Tag Team Championships. That match should be great, potentially match tonight. I think both teams go out there and have a killer match, and I'm really excited for that match. I think it'll be absolutely awesome, and it, like I said, potentially, you know, potentially to the show. AJ Styles defending the WWE Championship against Samoa Joe once again. You know, the match is SummerSlam and disqualification, so they have a rematch here. Hopefully, it's a great match. You know, hopefully, they don't do some bullshit finish like a day. I know, and at SummerSlam, it made sense because given what Joe was saying, AJ and whatnot, but I just want a clear cut winner in this match. So, hopefully, we get it here. But yeah, nonetheless, it should be a great match overall. Ronda Rousey challenging for the Raw Women's Championship, or uh, excuse me, defending the Raw Women's Championship against Alexa Bliss in a SummerSlam rematch. All I'm hoping for is that this isn't a squash like it was at SummerSlam, so not really much more to say about that. And then, of course, on the main event, we'll be having Roman Reigns defending the Universal Championship against Braun Strowman, who'll be, who will be catching his money bank contract in this match, of course, with special guest referee McFoley. These two, Roman Reigns and Braun Strowman, had a killer match in the past. You know, their, their feud in 2017 was absolutely awesome, especially in the summer leading the ambulance match. And hopefully they have another killer match here in the cell. You know, I can just absolutely envision Braun Strowman just chucking Roman Reigns into the cell uh, throughout the entire match. And just them, you know, hopefully utilizing the cell properly. Like I said, with the moss these two have had and the way they've utilized, you know, stipulation matches in the past, I feel like these two can definitely go out there and have an awesome hell in a cell. With Foley as referee, he's kind of just there randomly, but I do think he might be there for a reason in terms of how the finish goes. So... You know, he's, I guess there's not really much to say about Foley's referee, but besides that, he's just there. But, you know, what else more can you say? But, yeah, that's the card for Hell in a Cell. That way, see you more time. Let's go ahead and jump right into the predictions.
Kickoff, SmackDown Tag Team Championship match. SmackDown Tag Team Champions The New Day versus Rusev in English. As much as I do believe it is the right time to pull the trigger on Rusev Day, I don't see when the tag team titles here, unfortunately, so I will be picking The New Day. Hopefully, you know, Rusev or Aiden don't turn each other in this match. I think that'd be the wrong decision to do. I just, I don't know. If you're not going to put the tag team titles on them, I wouldn't split them either. I think it's, you know, a bad decision either way, but... I don't know, I just, I don't see him winning the tag team titles here, unfortunately, so, like I said, the New Day will be my pick to walk out still, the SmackDown Tag Team Champions. Hell in a Cell match, Jeff Hardy versus Randy Orton. Now, this is what I'm really excited for, uh, I just hope Jeff Hardy doesn't kill himself by that, I hope, I mean, he, I hope he doesn't do a swan time off the cell, because that's just absolutely insane, but I'm gonna go ahead and pick Randy Orton to win here, you know, Jeff Hardy, I think this is gonna be a way to ride him off TV for a little bit from the heel and recruit period, because he is, you know, very banged up, so I feel like this is a perfect opportunity to, you know, ride him off television for a while and have Randy Orton just beat the holy hell out of him, and uh, end up beating Jeff Hardy, even though I do think Jeff Hardy does, does need a big win, he hasn't had a big win in a while, but, you know, neither has Randy Orton, Randy Orton hasn't had, not, had that big win in a while either, so, you know, I think Orton's more beneficial here, so, should be a great match, but yeah, like I said, I do think uh, Randy Orton will get the win here. SmackDown Women's Championship match, SmackDown Women's Champion Charlotte Flair versus Becky Lynch. I don't see this match having a conclusion, so I'm going to go ahead and say this match ends in a no contest. You know, whether it's a disqualification or a countout, I don't see, you know, either women, you know, pinning or summoning each other. I think they'll just have a brawl, and, uh, you know, they're going to have a rematch set for a super showdown, so I think we'll get a clear winner there, but I don't see them having a clear winner here at all. It should be a great match overall, it should be a great brawl, like I said, but like I said, um, you know, I think Becky Lynch or Charlotte Flair will end up fighting into a no contest in this match. Raw Tag Team Champion match, Raw Tag Team Champions Dolph Ziggler and Drew McIntyre versus The Shields, Intercontinental Champion Seth Rollins and Dean Ambrose. I do think they're going with the route with, you know, putting all the titles in The Shield, so I'm going to go ahead and say Ambrose and Rollins win the Raw Tag Team titles here. It wouldn't surprise me though if McIntyre and Ziggler retained just because they won the Tag Team titles just two weeks ago, but, you know, with the way the storyline's going and everything, you know, it wouldn't surprise me if, you know, if Ambrose and Rollins won, and like I said, they will be my pick. I do think they're going with the route with putting all the, t the titles on Monday Night Raw on the Shield. And this should be a hell of a tag team match. This is potentially a match of the night. I think these two tag teams will go out there and have an awesome tag team match. And um, yeah, like I said, kind of result. I do think uh, Seth Rollins and Dean Ambrose will walk out the brand new Raw Tag Team Champions. Mixed tag team match, Daniel Bryan and Brie Bella versus The Miz and Maurice. You know, this should be a fun match. Hopefully, I think Bryan and Miz definitely going to be the two to carry this match because, you know, Brie and uh, Maurice, you know, after their performance on SmackDown Live this past Tuesday, not really looking forward to their interaction in the ring. But I'm going to go ahead and say Daniel Bryan and Brie Bella get the win here. You know, one surprise if Miz and Maurice won, though. I could see them winning, uh, keeping the gimmick that, you know, Bryan can't beat Miz still and, you know, eventually leading to that big win for Daniel Bryan, you know, in the future. But I don't know. I just something tells me that Bryan and Brie are going to win this match. So I'm going to pick them. Hopefully Hopefully it's a fun little match, but like I said, as long as Miz and Brian carry it, it should be fun. And um, yeah, like I said, coming out of this match, I'm um, going to go ahead and pick Daniel Bryan and uh, Brie Bella get the win in this match. WWE Championship match, WWE Champion AJ Styles versus Samoa Joe. I'm going to go ahead and pick AJ Styles to retain the championship here. I don't think Samoa Joe is ready for the championship. Well, I wouldn't say he's not ready, but I just feel like they haven't built him up for that championship. It just it doesn't feel like, you know, Samoa Joe is closing in that championship. It doesn't feel like Samoa Joe is close to winning that title from AJ Styles. I just, I don't sense that and I don't feel it, so I don't expect it to happen. And I don't think it's going to happen. Like I said, I think AJ Styles will walk out champion here. They had a great match at SummerSlam. Hopefully they're going to have a better match here. You know, I think maybe at a no DQ stipulation, you know, at the last minute, they can really go out there and have an amazing match. But... You know, they're going to have a great match regardless, but like I said, I do expect AJ Styles to walk out still the WWE Champion. Raw Women's Champion match, Raw Women's Champion Ronda Rousey versus Alexa Bliss. I don't think there's any chance in hell that Ronda Rousey loses this match and loses the championship this early, so I'm going to go ahead and pick Ronda Rousey to retain the Raw Women's Championship. Hopefully they get more time and have more of a match than they did at SummerSlam, because of course SummerSlam was pretty much just a squash, and hopefully they can actually have the time to uh, have a match here, because I do believe these two could have a, a good match if they, you know, had the time and, you know, put the effort in. So, like I said, coming result, I do think Ronda Rousey, without a doubt, will walk out still the Raw Women's Champion. And then the main event, Hell in a Cell match for the Universal Championship, The Shields Universal Champion Roman Reigns versus Mr. Money in the Bank, Braun Strowman, with special guest referee Mick Foley. I'm going to go ahead and pick Roman Reigns, walkout champion here. I don't see Strowman winning it, unfortunately. I do think they'll do a storyline thing, though, where Foley ends up costing Strowman the match, where, you know, Strowman maybe he's getting his hands on Foley and, you know, Reigns gets the win. And maybe they'll do the whole storyline where, you know, since Foley got involved and screwed up, you know, they pretty much, you know, they'll have Constable Corbin, you know, reward Strowman back the briefcase, thus putting the briefcase back at him, because I don't know. I just don't see Strowman cashing in and losing it. I know this is his cashing, but I just don't see that, you know, being the case here. I think one way or another, he'll end up getting the briefcase back. But this should be a killer main event. You know, these two had amazing matches. So I'm expecting a great Hell and from these two just absolutely destroying each other. But like I said, kind of result, I do expect the big dog Roman Reigns to walk out still the Universal Champion.
ladies and gentlemen, hope you guys enjoyed my WWE Hell in a Cell 2018 paper predictions. Like I said, Hell in a Cell is live on the WWE Network of Paper tomorrow night. Like I said, damn good card for the most part. I'm pretty excited for it. You know, I think it's a good solid card. Eight matches, which is, like I said, that makes it me even more excited for you that we're getting less less is more especially in wrestling in my opinion but yeah um you know how like i said tomorrow night i'm excited should be a good show hope you guys enjoyed the video if you guys did put like below and tell me review tomorrow night i'll see you guys and thank you guys for watching the video